Let's look at how we can create a bar chart or a bar graph in Excel. If you have raw data to create a bar chart, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to create a frequency table before you can create the bar chart. So you can look up the other videos on how to create a frequency table if you have raw data. But if you already have a frequency table, from the frequency table, we can make a bar chart. So here, we're asking the question, how many users, uh, what type of users use a building each day? In this building, there's 14 faculty who use it each day. The administrative personnel, that could be student assistants, it could be administrative assistants, it could be, could be lab assistants, all kinds of people. There's 21. And the support people, those who typically come in after hours for repair and maintenance, there's nine of them. Now we want to make a frequency, uh, 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 or we want to make a bar chart or a bar graph to illustrate this information. The way we do that is click inside our table, and then we go to insert, and there's different types of charts up here, and we are going to choose a bar chart. We click on bar chart, and we want a simple 2D bar chart, and we choose the first one there, and we click on that, and we get a bar chart. Now, this is this is pretty good. It shows that there's 14 faculty, that there's 21 administrative personnel, and there's uh, nine support people. But let's, uh, let's uh, tweak this so that it's even better. Now, first of all, the title, that's not very good. Let's change the title to uh, Daily Use of the Building. Daily use of the building so now we've it's, it's more clear no we don't need that extra return i'll take that out that's more clear what we're doing and we've got faculty administrative and support personnel but what does this mean is this the number of hours that they use it no it's the number of of people that that use it so uh let's uh um what we want to do is we if i click into the uh, the graph, we get three commands in Excel 2016, and I want to look at chart elements. And uh, we don't have any axis titles. We want axis titles. Graphs are always better when the axes are, are clear. So the, uh, the axis title type here, we can do uh, type of personnel. And so we've got faculty, administrative support. And then over here, we can put, uh, uh, let's click in there, delete what's there. And we can put in daily users. And now we have a, a pretty decent looking uh, 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 bar chart of what's going on here. Let's say we want to change the daily users from vertical to horizontal. What we can do is we can double click on it and this gives us some options. And we want this thing that looks like a cross, the size and properties. And we want to change the text directions. And it says uh, rotate text 270 degrees. No, we want it to be horizontal. So we can change that or we could change a bunch of different options. And that changes that and we can click out of that get rid of this and we have a pretty decent uh, um, uh, bar chart we make it a little smaller and we've got a, a good uh, bar chart here clearly indicating how many uh, uh, what type of personnel use the building daily